Hey guys, welcome back. Another live ladder here on Abyssal Caverns, CBT, Dark Chiva. Wonder if this is a girl. Odds are probably no. So this time I hope the sound is working. I <laughs> know last time I was like, I gotta fix the sound. And this time I actually did fix the sound, so. Ooh, hotkeys. I'm uh that's one thing I also want to start working on. As I improve is just use hotkeys more often. Uh I can set them, but I'm gonna have to start using them. So So versus a Terran. What am I gonna do this game? I'm gonna go like heavy link style. Go Stefano style. Any base up here? No base. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and scout that sooner. So I can go harass his little worker. All right. Push that up just a little bit closer. And he's taking a gas. Uh, that's either a quick second gas or that's just a bad spot for a gas in my opinion. It's, it's like a free scout. Okay, it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, snap. That was nice. I didn't think he was going to be paying attention there. Oh, well. Put this overlord up there. Get gas. He's at it again. Kind of curious what he's going to go with here. Um, he's still harassing me. Still harassing me. What is he going to do here? Make eight zerglings. I'm kind of worried he's going to pressure me. All right, he's falling back. Pretty good drone saturation here. Make some more drones. Time to go scout, see what he's up to. No risky outside expansion. Let's check inside. Just Marines. All right, that's going to be like a Hellion drop or Banshee. Let's see if he's got this gas. Actually, I'll put this down here. Did 
Does he have this gas? Yes, he does. So I'm going to prepare for Banshees. And Zerglings. Make some roaches. So my whole uh, plan on going Zerglings has changed just a little bit. This should be enough defense for the time being. I'm going to put up uh, some creep tumors now. Yep, here comes some stuff, Hellions. Shut that down very easily. Actually, creep tumor, creep tumor, gas, gas. Let me get some more gas here. Put on another base. Ah, get out of there! Keep my overloads back here. Roach speed. All right. I'm going to get some Muta. We do have close air spawn. That's not a drone. Do some scouting. How's my saturation up here? Pretty good. I'm going to put them all down here. Uh, I need to take this middle tower. Spire just about done. Close. This is getting close to being finished. Debating whether I want to get a baneling nest or not. I think I'm going to skip on that for the time being. Go do some more scouting. Marines, no marine upgrades. That is quite odd. What was that? I just saw something go down there. Zergling scouting me out. Clean out those rocks. So he's got very low marine count. Or, I mean, like, low upgraded marines. Which means my muta should do pretty well. Oh, shit, he's right outside my base. Oh, wow, shit, he's got Thors. I don't know about this. I didn't mean to pull you guys over there. It's getting kind of dirty. Oh shit, why didn't I change those hotkeys? Okay, he's got eighth door there. 
It's not good. I right, looks like I fought this off. Time to drone up. Oh wow, that was close. Okay, back to work. chambers spread some more creep a little better get a lot more he's gonna have tanks he seems like he's going mostly mech that is slow so I'm gonna try to build a base far away from him way over here See, he has an expansion. I'm gonna make some muted to try and harass that a little bit. Time to make an infestation pit. I always forget to make my infestation pit, and I always have like a late expand. Throw up one of those guys. Is my burrow not done yet? That's like the longest burrow ever. All right, tanks, good stuff. Any missile turrets? One. And Marines. Just trying to pick off this. Good job for me. Looks like he's pushing out. These guys are doing pretty well. Get up! All right, time to upgrade. See if I can do a little bit of a counterattack here. This is getting a little low, and looks like he's getting ready to hit me. Looking good for me. Take out that Thor. I got a ton of money. I think I'm going to get a bailing nest. 
get one. More upgrades. Okay, good spire, greater spire tech. Alright, I can get adrenal upgrade, glands. That's the thing I've been working on is trying to get more and more upgrades. Okay, so he doesn't have a base over there yet, which is good for me. Put some circlings over there. Kind of curious if he's going to go back to uh, Thor production or not. I forgot I had these guys. Let's go do some scouting. like he's still making Thors. Means I'm going to make an Ultra Din, or Cavern, whatever they're called. One he's going to make another Hatchery. Alright. Going to be able to make some Corruptors into Broodlords. Spread some more creep. All right, where are those corruptors at? Some more upgrades, bailing upgrades. Brood lords. Some ultra upgrades. Looks like I'm gonna have a good army composition here. Get some more upgrades. Gonna get some more gas. What was that? Okay. It's not very much actually. Fungal. Fungal. Dead. Wow. Those stores are actually a lot more beefier than I expected them to be. This next wave of units is going to kill him, though. That did the trick. Good game. Ugh. Well, that was a pretty good game. Um, only diamond. That sucks. <laughs> Let's check out the old uh, deal here. So I think I I was kind of worried about the Hellions or the Banshees. I kind of really thought it was going to be like some Banshee or drop play, but it was just straight up Hellions. I had Rojas out. I stopped that pretty easily. He lost a lot of Hellions. I think he had like six or seven. Um, didn't really accomplish anything with them. And then I just got my third up really quick. Macroed up pretty well, had a pretty good army, and uh, that one fight was really, really close outside my base when I pulled, like, everything. I was like, oh, man, I did not expect Thors. Because um, I was thinking, I was like, why Why is he on two gas if he's making Hellions? Uh, but, yeah, that's where all the gas went, into those Thors. So that was, that was kind of a close fight. I think after I took that fight, though, I had the game won. After that, he didn't really have anything that was uh, super awesome. What could I have done better that game? Probably could have started my upgrades a little sooner. This is what I like to see here. 
army army value where like you barely beat him every fight and then at the end you're just like oh yeah you, you just have so much more stuff not bad here pretty much ahead of him even though he had two mules of course um so pretty good on the macro for me economy breakdown 97 workers created 98 uh i think i lost a couple of course and of course you turn a bunch into a building so i probably had like 70 80 maybe Probably like 70 uh, towards the end of the game, which I think is a pretty decent number. Um, how was I? How was my scouting? Not bad. Um, anything else I want to talk about this game? I don't know. Went pretty well. Uh, I think I did really good with my injects. One thing that really sucks is you know whenever there, a player is pushing into your base and you need to rearrange all your hotkeys or, or <coughs> excuse me all your rally points for your hatcheries. You rearrange all your hot points for your hatchery so that way your units don't just rally into the in, into your enemy. And since it's on move command instead of attack move, then they just walk in and die. So I lost a couple roaches because of that. I didn't like change my bottom one quickly enough. And then, of course, that lost me a bunch of roaches, which always sucks. So maybe I need to, uh, I don't know how I can manage to do that a little bit better. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't use my hot keys for my uh, camera. Once I set up one for my natural, but it really didn't come in handy. Maybe I need to put one for like his outside of his base. Maybe one outside of his base. I don't know. I just I just I haven't used those F keys for cam cameras like at all ever. So it's just something I'm slowly gonna have to add into my game. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good game. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And uh, for those players out there who uh, who are sad, I'm switching from Terran to Zerg. I'll get back to Terran eventually. I'm just I like to play all the races. Um, you know, go go between one to the next to the next so I can understand all of them as well as possible. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, oh, also, if you want to come hang out, come to uh, North America server channel Eon down here, and you can chat it up with me. I'm here all the time when I'm online, so if you want to chat, just come down and say hi. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I love to have all those subscribers. I'm so close to 2,000. That's a big deal, or I guess it's a big deal. It's pretty cool for me, at least. So see you guys later.